Hey guys, what's up? It's Malkazanki, and uh, welcome to the Race to Max Cape. I believe this is episode 6, so we did skip a week last week, and that was because I was really working hard on fishing, and I was also just um, feeling a bit under the weather last week, kind of with sickness and all that, so I was not able to make one, which means that uh, the screenshots that I got really stacked up a ton. I also have... Um, well, a pretty drastic change that I have made to the format of these episodes that I will explain later on in the video uh, once we come to the second stage of the video. But for now, this is just the screenshots. I was actually sent around 150 to 200 screenshots between that, so I could not fit them all in one video. What I did make sure to do is um, everyone that sent me a screenshot, I used at least one of their screenshots, and if they sent me more than one, I would use two or three of their screenshots. So, just to be fair, that's what I did, um, but there's a few people that sent me like 10 to 15 screenshots apiece, and I just was not able to fit them all, because the video would be like 30 minutes long if I had to put all the screenshots in. So I do apologize for that, especially if you uh, took the time to upload your screenshots. It feels a bit unfair that I wasn't able to use them all, and I do apologize for that. But uh, you can, of course, send your screenshots in next week, and since I will be doing a Race to Max Cape episode next week, instead of waiting two weeks this time, uh, I should be able to fit uh, quite a few more screenshots in. But, um, anyways, as I said, I have made a change, and um, the purpose behind this change was just to make the videos a little more manageable and shorter. Um, the total amount of people that were interested in joining the road or the race to Maxcape has reached about 110 people now so that's absolutely insane uh, everyone that is in the race to Maxcape you're completely allowed to send the screenshots of course the link will be in the description for the uh, the first episode of this series which will explain exactly how to send them in a little bit better as always but um, yeah that's what I have Unfortunately, there weren't as many 99s this week as there typically are. There's usually about, um, I would say, between 5 and 10 99s. I didn't get as many clips this week. I don't know if not as many people got 99s this week, which is completely understandable, or if not as many people sent them in. And I also had one thing that I quickly wanted to ask you guys about, and I've noticed a lot of people have not been getting any levels uh, for several episodes in a row, and uh, whether that been... Whether that is because of a loss of interest in the game itself or just because of being busy in real life, I'm not sure. Um, obviously, everyone has a reason that they're not playing, and uh, all of those reasons are completely understandable and not bad at all. But um, I was wondering if you guys would be okay with the idea of if someone does not achieve any levels within two weeks, maybe they could be taken off the Race to Max Cape, and that would just clear up more room for new players that want to join. So if you think that's a good idea, um, or if you think that's a terrible idea and you want to stay on the Race to Max Cape, if you are one of those people that's just busy and doesn't have the opportunity to get a lot of levels, uh, let me know. That is one thing that I did want to get a little bit of feedback on. But anyways, there's all the 99s, and I got a couple unique clips. As you saw at the very start, there was someone who got, uh, I'm King Tony, actually, was his RSN. He got a D-chain from Dust Devils, so I think that was pretty insane. Um, that's only the second time I've ever seen that. And then Hello Mr. Fro got Livid Farm complete, which, oh my goodness, I'm so jealous of that. Uh, that Livid Farm is just a killer, and it's a huge achievement to finish that up. So here we are getting into the standings. This is the part that I mentioned might be a bit controversial earlier, and I really don't want to leave anyone out of this series, but at the moment there's just too many people, and it's still growing, and there's no way I can keep track of everyone. Um, so the most commonly suggested thing when I asked, it, asked um, you guys for ways that I could have shorten the videos a little bit and make them not quite so long to put together was uh, only have the top 50 players. So that's what I did. As I said, there's about 110 names entered right now, which is completely awesome. But one thing that's kind of cool, I think, about having the top 50 players beyond just making the video not incredibly long is um, it can actually be only players that are really working towards the max cape because uh, I have a lot of people that are really low total levels and although it's not a bad thing to have large ambitions you know to start from a low total level and have a big goal of reaching the max cape and in your mind but um, that is just a lot of players that probably won't achieve the max cape that are in the series and when the series was really originally started for the race to max cape and so I've narrowed that down to the top 50 players. Uh, another thing that's kind of cool is it's a goal to almost uh, get in this series if you are a slightly lower total level. If you're around between 2,000 and 2,200 and you're not quite 
within the top 50 players. Um, you can make making it into the race to max cape standings a goal of yours, which I think is a good thing as well. And um, the top 10, of course, has changed a little bit this week. Um, there's two players that got maxed. I was one of them. If you have seen the video on that, uh, which I uploaded yesterday, I know a lot of people have. A lot of people have said grats to me for getting the max cape, so thank you to everyone. Uh, I have had a couple people that were in game that I'd never even seen before that came up to me and said grats on the max cape. So yeah, thanks to all those people. Um, so different number one player. Um, the player that had been number one for the last few weeks uh, has not gained a total level for over a month, so I figured maybe he's just lost interest in RS or something like that, which is really a shame when you're so close to the max cape. But anyway, um, these are all the players that possibly might get a max cape within the near future. Um, and uh, as I said, there were two max capes, which you'll see in just a second. Unfortunately, I was not able to get any clips or screenshots from the guy that maxed other than me. Um, maybe we can get that worked out soon. But uh, the highest XP total and the highest skill XP has also changed a little bit. Um, 538 mil is now the highest XP total of anyone in the race, which is absolutely insane. That is a ton of XP. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to pass that anytime soon. And now, looking in the Hall of Fame, again, there is no completionist capes yet, although a couple of those players are working towards them, including me. Um, so John Vitek was the fourth player to get the max cape. He got it a few days before I did, and then I got it um, two days ago. So number four and five in the max cape have now been achieved, so five max capes so far in the series, which I think is kind of insane. Um, that's really good progress, considering I haven't been doing this for too long. So I'm pretty proud of achieving my max cape, and I know John probably is as well. Um, so anyway, that's going to be all for this episode. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the new format where I only do the top 50 players, make it a little more exclusive, um, and a little more focused towards players that are really working towards the max cape. Um, that's all. Thanks for watching, and farewell.